The Sheen. Hey. We came to the Sheen Center for a film festival. Apparently Morgan Freeman is gonna be here and I'm freaking out. Oh my gosh, I told my mom I and my mom was like, are you for real? I'm dying. Yeah. Gotta act normal though. <laughs> So this is the Justice Film Festival and it says apparently it's been around since 2012 but I've never heard of it. Since 2012 the Justice Film Festival has showcased inspirational films featuring stories of unexpected courage and redemption that are diverse in both issues and geography as a platform for conversation and connection. So we got our front row seats here. They're super exciting.
we don't do anything positive without that sense of a connectivity to, to each other. Call that connectivity love. Just saw Morgan Freeman and I, I was, she grabbed my wrist and we were like, ah, like, okay, we oh were no, trying I, to I, not I freak out. I was my phone text, t literally telling someone how we saw Morgan Freeman and I want you to send me this video. I, I'm just like in awe right now because he was right in front of us. No, no. Okay. And here's the thing. Okay. Like sometimes I feel like people go to meet in Greece and you just shake someone's hand and it's like. To me, those are, I don't know, I feel like the idea of those are just super Yeah, I hate the impersonal but, like, aspect. We just got to sit and just listen to him. It was incredible. And just learn from him. And then the producer, who's, who's the head of like the producing guild of America, mm -hmm. um, okay. That's huge. Like, and yes, she's, girl. And I guess they've been working together for like, she said they've known each other 25 years. Yeah, and that they've was been like, working together for the past 20. Right, and, and they have a production company together. Like their that. series that they just came out with is amazing. Um, <sighs> even if you take away the fact that like it's Morgan Freeman, if you were to right. take away that aspect, it's still a beautiful show. Amazing, so beautiful. amazing. And the thing too that I love it is there was, I think, some woman there who also like ran a production company. I didn't really, I just kind of heard their conversation. Mm. But like, she was fangirling over this woman, and I think it's cool when you get to see like people in film like fangirl over other people. Right. But these yeah. like super successful right. women who are also like geeking over this other woman. So, dude, it's amazing to just like empower other women and like be empowered. And the, their messages were so good and true oh, and amazing. And I'm like, gosh. you don't have to be this horrible person to like get ahead in life, kind of thing, you know. And the guy who introduced her said she is like genuinely the nicest person he's ever met before. The director of the Sheen Center who interviewed yeah. them. It was so amazing. I just loved like every freaking minute of it. And the films were so inspiring too, just about like the oh human condition and peace and how and during love. the film, yeah, love. How like love is just, will conquer everything. You know, there's all these problems, there's all these divisions, there's all these wars. He went, Morgan Freeman like went around the world interviewing different people and all these different, you know, violent happenings around the world. And you know, how we can bring about solidarity and peace and unity yeah. and love. And it's just amazing to just have hope for the future despite yeah. my video even yesterday was just about the darkness or the one that I posted today was kind of depressing about just like all this darkness I've been seeing in the world and experiencing and noticing around me and that there is a solution and like we should never lose hope and just try to be better and make it the was, world better. It was so good. And, I, and I'm going to say this again. We didn't just get to see him, we got to learn from him. Yeah. And I think that was the incredible part because And he, hearing his he voice just made, too. Oh my gosh, it was real <laughs> life. <laughs> Literally the real voice of God life. was in the room with us. I was like, this is but not here's the thing. actually experience. We all have it. Uh, we don't all get the opportunity to, you know. Think of just like being and sitting with your grandparents and talking to them, but just having Morgan Freeman's voice. Like, exactly. He's I feel like he's the grandpa I've never had. He is such <laughs> a grandpa. Oh, and he amazing. was busting like grandparent jokes. He was hilarious. Oh <laughs> my gosh. Like, I'm I'm just. I just want to like sit down and have a conversation with him somehow. I, just I mean, can't hey, this believe is the closest that that just get. happens. Like, <sighs> and. Like, I'm just so thankful, like, dear goodness. Oh, amazing, and the nice. woman, too. Oh my she goodness. was so amazing, too. Lori. I feel bad. Definitely I'm definitely going to go stalk her on Insta. Yeah, but dude. they're just, just so beautiful. Amazing. Cannot. Hi. Hi. Do you want to be in the vlog? <laughs> Okay, we had a special guest what's appearance. The, what's, what's, what's today? We just saw Morgan Freeman. It was incredible. We went really? to this film festival. Yeah. Did he give you a nail file and try and teach you how to get out of jail? Shawshank Redemption, best movie ever. Not as interesting as Morgan Freeman. You are interesting I've though. Only, Everyone's interesting. Um, so thank you so much for watching today's video. As I mentioned in the first, you know, since I'm doing these daily vlogs, some of them are just gonna be my boring random life, me cooking quesadillas, me talking about stuff other days are gonna be freaking meeting Morgan Freeman so you never know this is my life also subscribe to Livespiration she's doing vlogtober hey, as well I'm doing vlogtober as well I have a really bomb intro fun fact 
Go check it out, Livespiration. Yes. So I'm home and I just realized, I was thinking to myself, I'm just so grateful for all the opportunities that I have living in New York City. It's like there's so many incredible experiences. I never in my life, I'm like a huge fan of um, the, mo the movie Shawshank Redemption and never in my life did I actually think I would see Morgan Freeman like in the flesh in front of me. Is that a weird word? Like in the flesh. But like in person, hearing his voice and just being in his presence and looking. There was a moment where I was just sitting because me and Olivia were like in the front row and we were looking and he was kind of looking straight at us and I'm like, Morgan Freeman is looking at us right now. Like he's looking at me like we're in the same room together. I'm hearing his voice. I'm seeing him. Like, I know this sounds super weird and like fangirly, but it's that's just what I was thinking. And it's the same time there was one day I saw the Pope actually when he was here. He was driving by in his little car and I was just looking at him like that's the Pope. The Pope is in front of me right now. Like, what? And I started like tearing up a little. And also, oh my gosh, last year I saw Sarah Jessica Parker. Actually, like, was this two years ago? I don't remember. But I used to work at Bloomingdale's, and she was she came for her new shoe line, and so she was on the second floor signing shoes. And I, um, and I walked up, and I was with my coworker, or I was with, like, another girl who worked there, and I'm like, dude, Sarah Jessica Parker, like, she's right there, what? And I know people try to act like, all normal around famous people oh don't fangirl oh they're just another person but I'm like there's some really iconic people Sarah Jessica Parker the Pope Morgan Freeman like certain people you just wow you know they're just icons they're legends they're there's something about them that is just so extraordinary as a person and I just get really excited over things like that. And living in New York is so amazing for having experiences like that. I can just get on the subway and go downtown and go to an event or go to something or, you know, even at my job when I worked at Bloomingdale's, like just another day at work, like what? It's amazing, I love experiences like this. And I think it's good to be grateful for things like that. New York is an amazing place to live. For